in there the matter is you need to retrofit you know a, a new smart device with existing machines okay other battery so on the very products you got a range and it really brings value it, it will uh, you know generate revenue people are willing to adopt iot Mm-hmm. So uh, one use case pating na uh, there are lot of machines uh, you know uh, needs predictive uh, maintenance and stuff like that. Okay. But because of all this manual work, uh, manual uh, you know check or check uh, log books and stuff, mm-hmm. people don't uh, maintain on time. Okay. In uh, in a longer run, this will you know bring bigger damage and due to not maintenance and stuff. Okay. This will be nice. Uh-huh. So this, this, with IoT, you can reduce all these things. Put sensors like uh, put temperature sensors. See what is the temperature of the machine. Okay. See how many. Uh, oh, general maintenance. So it will be like uh, very. Uh... Yeah, very. If you are talking about legacy machine, like in the sensor or collect data, I collect money. So that all manual are not saved. The labor intensive. Oh. The people will write say how many. Uh, how many product it have you know created after hundred thousand product uh, service these that this that. Huh. So, इधर लाओ automated पंटा uh, you know things will be checked in every time and you know stuff uh-huh. machines uh-huh. won't break down. So these kind of things people are willing to invest. If okay. They see the ROI, return of investment. So yeah. the matter is that mm-hmm. return of mm-hmm. investment इधर ना uh, people are willing to adopt. Okay, okay, okay. So, if you are talking about machines, so pudu machines were there. But mm-hmm. if you go and offer like okay, uh, pudu machines under there, either IoT ready or not, people won't uh, you know buy it because it's a big investment. Oh, retrofit panna mudinja, it's the best for all this you know. Okay, retrofit panna mudinja, na ma engga ve naalu do panikla. So, how do you think retrofit under a pretty रेट्रोफिट कैन इंगे वैन ना हम तो पन्ना मुड़ी हों ला रेट्रोफिटिंग या मो रेट्रोफिट चैलेंज है ना पतिंग ना यू हैव टू अटेंड पर कस्टमर बेसिस तेस नो जनरल प्रोडक्ट सो इंगे ना आटे कस्टमाइज आई इंडस्ट्रियल आईओटी विल कम इन प्लेस हाँ ओके या सो आईओटी कैन बी प्लेस्ड इन लाइक इंडस्ट्रियल Comes I I O T ah I I O T I R O T I mean I O R T these yes. uh, kind of thing okay 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 yes, okay okay bro मोदन हम सेंसो लगाते हैं ना स्मार्ट I O T प्रोडक्ट्स या होम या बाइक या मेरे आदि बिग सेक्टर मलेशिया लगाते हैं ना प्रॉपर्टी टेक ने ओके सो व्हाट इस प्रॉपर्टी टेक इस बेसिकली अपार्टमेंट्स कंडोमिनियम में दे आर इक्विप्ड विथ I O T एवरी होम फ्रॉम डे वन Okay. So, what na inga value bring pande the na? Pande na property guys. There are lot of properties in Malaysia. They want to make them some unique. So, this property guys go and you know work with all these property tech agents and you know resellers to install IoT at their home. So, they bring more value. Something okay. new. Okay. Ah ah ah. So, when ah. it looks new and fancy, the youngsters will you know uh, try to go for the you know always the fancy yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah, nice yeah, yeah. stuff. Ah. So that's how IoT is getting adopted here in Malaysia at least. one market of its property tech okay because okay. it looks cool ah yeah. ah 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 okay 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 so the property tag abindrad is like a body body na no? body means uh, uh, like an organization uh, property tech is a market segment aha uh-huh. and under there there are a lot of company you know serving property tech so what they do is they they you know responsible to provide if they get awarded with project The entire, you know, facility they have to, you know, put IoT in each house or so what, whatsoever. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, 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 like that. Mm. So there is one company called Wave and KL, which is owned by my friend. Okay. So they are doing, you know, such thing. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Here now, bro, this. This. So couple are there. Ah, they were planning about a hundred years old boat. Hundred years old, da. Yeah. Yes, umma, you get it, ga. Abandoned. They are just sitting there doing nothing. इले ला दा उल्ला आल गर कांग ला. इले ला आल ना ले. Just they अपडे पाक पनी अच्छी कांग. ना ब्रो सुल्टी. Just for no. Ha ha ha. Okay. It's been there like a year. Oh. It's very old boat. No abandoned. No more using. Oh. So they put it here. That is another island, bro. Small island. Belongs to Penang, but full of card. इला दा रुको. उल्ला वन्ना रुके. Okay. So, how important electronics is for IoT? So IoT ne pata le sensors and you know microcontrollers will come. Yeah na yeah why why I am asking this is uh, if you look, take a look at India IoT abdi intro the vandi no students vandi paper presentation la colleges le vandi they don't even uh, uh, see that IoT is like a fusion of electronics and software. 
ஐஓடினா ஓகே ஒரு குட்டி பிரா பேப்பர் பிரசன்டேஷன் பண்றதோட அவங்களுக்கு வந்து அந்த ஐஓடியோட எக்ஸ்போஷர் முடிஞ்சிருக்கு அதுக்கப்புறம் எலக்ட்ரானிக்ஸ் எதுக்கு அதாவது ஐஓடி படிக்கணும் அப்படின்னா செப்பரேட் ஃபீல்ட் தே டோன்ட் சி இட் ஆஸ் அ ஃபியூஷன் நமக்கு அதுக்கு வந்து சாஃப்ட்வேரும் தெரிஞ்சிருக்கணும் ஹார்ட்வேரும் தெரிஞ்சிருக்கணும் அப்படின்ற அந்த அந்த விஷயம் அவங்களுக்கு புரிய மாட்டேங்குது ஸோ யூ டெல் ஹவு இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் Uh, it is uh, uh, i mean how important it is uh, to learn electronics to master iot mm-hmm. so iot pathina one branch of foundation is electronics definitely okay. so for example sensors are involved microcontroller science also uh, you don't have to know very in depth but at least you need to know you know some basics electronics to work with it Hmm, hmm, right hmm, like hmm, hmm. the operating voltage the current and all this some language you need okay because iot is a sub branch of electronics in my perspective iot is become like a uh, you know higher level than electronics you don't have to go fundamentally very low level that's okay. why now we are talking about hardware and software uh-huh. if back in the days pathinga na people do software will only do software hardware people will only do yeah. hardware because that was a very depth branch okay but now like software involved right hardware is involved and you know there's abstraction available okay so you can build stuff easily with libraries and stuff but being said that you still need some basic knowledge of electronics to excel in mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. okay yeah. so that how uh, basic knowledge in means like programming level of knowledge ana konnor microcontroller program panna theriyenu nra level knowledge venum yeah knowledge venum and then like i said or basic or data sheet padikira alavu ke edha edala for like interface online you you okay. have to have some basics. so knowing how to uh, uh, i mean uh, read data sheets how to like interface uh, 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 hardware how to write the code in the log there is enough yes yes because for iot what you are saying is you are not developing something very new it's uh, mm-hmm. you know uh, the feel is there there's ready application and stuff you do, you're not inventing anything new so uh-huh. it's more like solving puzzles ஆனா <laughs> 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 designing that from scratch you see you are making a product of course you need to understand analog electronics okay appo then ungalku and the sensor okay enna na podano analog ha, electronics ha, ha, ha. Okay. and that's a, that is what i call depth knowledge mm-hmm. so if you want to do that kind of stuff yeah of course you need to have in depth you know uh, analog electronics digital electronics rf okay but if you are just buying you know ready made products in integrating in that is fine okay uh well, regarding smoke sensors okay adu vandu Uh, kind of business level uh, stuff nu vechukonga okay uh, what i'm uh, looking at abdina not business level but engineering level stuff mm-hmm. so let's say ipo namakitta uh, uh, there are some students who uh, who are much interested in iot uh, but avangaloda uh, challenges uh, abindrathu vandu do you think adavadhu ipo sales na na just i just have to know enna hardware veno enna software veno adha na poi vaangite vandha i can install i mean uh, in in uh, uh ebdi solradhu non technical level mm-hmm. but in technical level uh, if uh, if if they learn if they want to learn iot and if they want to get into a good job what uh, it takes okay does it take a, a, a high amount of knowledge in electronics or adhu vandu or basic idirundha poduma so iot ne inga renda pidikalala one is you know the services like cloud services also part of iot yes. hardware so are you referring to hardware i am referring to hardware hardware is the uh, the final uh, thing right mm-hmm. hardware vechi dana vandu ellame vela seiyudhu hardware irundhu again data anupradhu i see it as software engineering what are happening in the cloud mm-hmm. so na vandu the hardware level uh, stuff pathi solren Mm-hmm. so okay so if you want to excel in hardware development of course you need to know electronics like i mentioned uh-uh. but uh, you know like i said iot it's a uh, you know sub field of uh, electronics and it has been there right you can be like a full stack every uh, web la vandute if you are full stack you can do back end front end mm-hmm. uh, in the field la pathina if you talk about uh, full stack you can do both the pcb and the software embedded software programming ah uh, okay 
if you are you know you if you can master both mm-hmm. but otherwise if you want to master one you can pick up like embedded software start you know digging what are the stacks available how you can transmit data you know there are a lot of connectivity like more the sensor la pathina he was talking about rf 433 megahertz yeah so there are a lot of connectivity like wifi bluetooth zigbee so once you know the fundamental then you can able to pick which technology stack or you know all these things how things will work out uh, 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 so that's what you need to master okay ipo or or thing vand he knows a fair amount of electronics and fair amount of uh, software abdina uh, regarding uh, this uh, career opportunities what i mean how uh, how he should he should uh, approach you know in, in, let's take uh, india indian market la vand people always go to software hardware abdina ungalku vand adu it is like a very new thing uh, for them to uh, to at, at least i would say that poi hardware level la avanga work pandrathu is like they call it core industry core nariya per ece padichirukanga electronics padichirukanga triple e padichirukanga endi padichirupanga but end of the day they'll end up working in uh, a uh, software company so ipo it, it is because of lack of knowledge that is how i see it uh, lack of exp- experience or exposure ipo namma vandu we are teaching iot uh, let's say they learn avangalukku vandu hardware um theriyudhu software um theriyudhu na what are all the type of industries that they can get into regarding iot now the iot is a very big industry na solradhu vandu is like uh, companies what are all the uh, big companies who hire people uh, who knows both the hardware and software because that is a rare kind of combination right so adha vandu ipo oruthuk vandu or or electronics um seiya theriyum adrundu varra data va eduthu socket la potu cloud computing um panna theriyum na what type of companies they have to go to they have to approach adha vandu enga ella opportunities irukku so opportunities you see uh, any product development any electronics product development company right uh-huh. like uh, you see uh, nowadays you look at smart watch adulla pathinga na it has wifi bluetooth and everything together so of course company will choose a candidate with with at least have this experience like you know sockets uh-huh. ap and all this thing so that's where you bring value to company because added knowledge is always a benefit to company yeah like with all this integration in place and all this thing because sometimes engineer time to stick in one matter and uh-huh. that will bring lot of ambiguity between the teams you know unnecessary discussion uh-huh. so yeah of course like if you know more things no harm bro company will you know will love you Uh-huh. if you know the both okay especially okay especially with all this integration work like i mentioned because okay. cross domain team mm-hmm. the conversation mm-hmm. is easier yeah. okay okay so bro ipo hardware uh, uh, when when i go okay ipo no iot apdin porappa uh there is this uh, uh, analog electronics and there is the digital electronics nam already adha pathi pesinu but in the digital electronics oda knowledge mattume vechi do you think uh, people can survive in uh, uh, iot or iot based uh, industries Yeah, uh, it is somehow possible these days. Mm-hmm. You know, if you look at it, you know, uh, like sensors, analog sensor is going to be a digital interface. So, analog is going to be integrated. It is going to be a chip. It reads all the analog value, cleans up all the analog value, and then it gives you the, you know, serial interface okay. to read the sensor. So, uh-huh. as long you know all this in and out, right, uh-huh. you can do IoT without, you know, depth knowledge in, you know, like analog electronics with, with just digital electronics. Okay, like. okay. You know, you know I, I feel people uh, feel it harder to learn analog electronics, but, uh, but when it comes to digital electronics, it is fairly easy for anybody yes. to uh, learn. Yes. And a code already, it is just about uh, connecting it and making it work. Yes. Okay. so uh, so it is possible is uh, it is possible to do that uh, in 2022 uh, to to only survive with uh, digital electronics yes, so however nama digital electronics padikka aarambichona automatically some amount of uh, uh, analog und namak theriya aarambichirum illa adavadhu eppadi sonnana na if your aim is to excel in software only mm-hmm. like embedded software matta da neenga sey poringa you don't need to know analog software uh-huh. means like just like high level software you understand all the in and out architecture uh-huh. those things are more important okay like embedded or architecture or high level server or architecture vera vera mari irukum okay so try to understand all these design patterns all these things what algorithm will fit nicely in mcu you can focus on those things 
ah, and the okay. experts you know that make all these sensors and all these things that give you digital interface okay they will teach you how to you know what interface it is in like ipc or spi like ah. for those things you don't need analog electronics right okay okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. i can understand hmm so verum digital electronics mattume padichu somebody can shine in uh, this field yes embedded software la you can go around with digital, digital electronics and some amount of fair uh, amount of software knowledge yes yes ana the active track illa na indha maari block panna mudiyadhu so idala tha focus la vechirukku nammala so it is taking the data cv data passing to the ah adutha indha maari motor control panna is a similar uh, algorithm like how we did for that robotic bro okay adho idhu na bro 3x is na oh okay adhu vandu oh okay 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 I understand ha ha or a gaadi da pattingina if the vehicle want to go straight uh. turn right it will in between right it will have like a what they call differentiator okay so when the speed changes it you know it can turn left or right adhu or mechanical automatic force you are telling நீங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்